Hello Junior 3, hope you all feeling good. Now we will start with page 44. What happens to the food you eat? Let's read the text. A train, plane and car all need fuel to run. The fuel provides energy. Our bodies also need fuel for energy. But we don't use the same kind as trains or cars. Luckily, the human body runs on a variety of delicious fuels. We get energy from the food we eat. Food contains thousands of different nutrients. Nutrients provide some of the energy that the human body needs. The body has a process that changes the food we eat into simpler parts. Once food is broken down, the body absorbs it to get energy. Digestion begins when you put food in your mouth. Chewing breaks up food into smaller pieces. This makes it easier for saliva in your mouth to soften the food and begin the breakdown. After you swallow, muscles push the food down to your stomach. Inside your stomach, muscles churn acid to further break down the food. Digested food moves the intestines to continue the digestion process. The nutrients are carried away in the blood, giving all parts of the human body energy to run. Now let's see the meaning of these words. Fuel, a material used to produce heat or power by burning. The fuel is a gas the train, plane and car needs to run. But for humans we need food and its nutrients to get energy. Nutrients, materials and food necessary to support life and growth like vitamins and minerals found in fruit. Digestion, the process that changes the food we eat into a simpler form. Saliva, a clear liquid that's made in your mouth 24 hours a day. Every day, it's made up mostly of water with a few other chemicals. Swallow, to take something into your stomach through your mouth and throat. The word churn acid. After you swallow the food, muscles push it down to your stomach. Your stomach produces an acid. Muscles in the stomach squeeze or push the food with the acid to break down the food. Intestines are organs or body parts that are shaped like long tubes. They help break down food so that the body can use it for energy. They also remove wastes from the body. Now let's move to page 45. How the stomach works. Let's read the instructions and follow the steps. Materials you will need. Lemon juice, plastic reusable bag, cracker. Instructions Pour the lemon juice into the plastic bag. The juice represents and acts like the acid in your stomach. Break the cracker into few pieces. This is what your teeth and tongue do before you swallow food. Put the cracker into the bag and zip it up. Carefully shake the cracker in the lemon juice. You can use your hands to gently squeeze it too. This is what the muscles in your stomach do to squeeze food during digestion. Describe what happens to the cracker as your stomach model digests it. Here is the steps in the previous page. The tools are lemon juice, reusable plastic bag and the crackers. And these are the four steps followed. Now let's answer the table below. Cracker before digestion remained as it is. Cracker after digestion broke down into smaller pieces. Now let's move to page 46. I observe the lemon juice acid of the stomach breaks up crackers food more rapidly and easily. Let's answer the questions below. Number one, why do our bodies need to digest food we eat? 
to get nutrients in the food. How does the stomach help digestion? The stomach muscles squeeze and stir the food in the acid. Now moving to page 47. We will talk about my heart. Let's read the story and find the difficult words. Your heart has an important job. It keeps blood moving through your body. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to every part of your body. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of your fist. It fills with blood when it expands or stretches. When it contracts or squeezes, it pushes blood out into blood vessels that run through the body. The heart beats many times per minute. Each beat pushes blood through the body. The heart continues to beat for your whole life. The first word is muscular. Like having well-developed muscles, strong or powerful. The second one is fist. The hand closed tightly with the fingers doubled in the palm. Expand or stretches. Become larger in size or volume or quantity. Contracts or squeezes. Pressured or stressed. Blood vessels. Any channel through which the blood normally circulates. Beat like pulse. The heart is located between your two lungs inside your chest. Blood comes from all the body parts to the right side of the heart through veins. The heart pushes blood through artery to the lungs. Oxygen from the air we breathe is added to the blood in the lungs. Blood filled with oxygen travels from the lungs to the left side of the heart through veins. The heart pumps blood through artery to all the body parts. This blood carries the oxygen and other nutrients to all the body parts. Moving to page 48, write about the heart. I will write, my heart beats and pumps, it gives me life and good health, my heart is a strong organ. Now on page 49 and page 50, we will talk about exercising my heart. We have previously learned that the heart is a muscle that we must strengthen by staying active. So the longer our hearts are the better they work but they also need rest. The more we exercise, the more our heart rate increases. Heart rate is the number of heartbeats per minute. Now let's answer these questions. Number one. What's your hypothesis about your heartbeat when performing different activities? I will say my heart rate will not remain the same in all activities. Number two, explain your thinking. Because the more we exercise, the more our heartbeat increases. Now let's see this exercise. First, while sitting. My heart beats is 16 beats in 15 seconds. So number of pulses in one minute, I will make 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 to be 64 beats per minute. As we said before, heart rate is number of heartbeats per minute. Second, while walking. Let's say my heart beats will be 18 beats in 15 seconds. So number of pulses in one minute will be 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18 equals 72 beats per minute. Third, jogging in place. Let's say while jogging in place, my heart beats is 19 beats in 15 seconds. So number of pulses in one minute will be 19 plus 19 plus 19 
plus 19 equals 76 beats per minute fourth jumping rope let's say while jumping rope my heart beats is 20 beats in 15 seconds so number of pulses in one minute equals 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 equals 80 beats per minute now let's answer the following questions number one in which activity is the rate of the heart beats is the greatest? Jumping rope. Number two. In which activity is the rate of your heart beats is the lowest? Sitting. Number three. Which activities do you think are the best for your heart health? I will say walking. Moving to page 51. Tree of health. The tree has four main branches about the body parts we learned. We will write four body parts and four facts on them. First is heart. Laughing is good for your heart. Second, stomach. Eating fruits benefits your stomach. Third, skin. Drinking water makes your skin shines. Fourth, Bones and muscles. Making exercise strength your bones and muscles. Now on page 53, these are the four steps of the writing process. Let's try the explanation of each step. The first one is planning. Brainstorm ideas and organize your topic. The second one Drafting. Create a rough copy of your writing. Third one, revising. Improve your writing. Fourth one, publishing. Create a clean final copy. Here, page 54. Planning. Brainstorm ideas within your expert group. What are the most important facts you want to add to your story? Write as many ideas as you can. Here I'll choose the topic of how we can keep our body parts healthy. Number one, eat a variety of foods. If you eat different foods, you are more likely to get the nutrients your body needs. Number two, drink water and milk. You need calcium to build strong bones and milk is a great source of this mineral. Number three, be active. Ask your parents to help you do your favorite activities regularly. Find ways to be active every day. Now we will move to page 55, drafting. The opening sentence, today I chose to talk about the heart. Important facts to know, Heart is the strongest organ in our body. Heart do a great job, which is beating and pushing blood. Heart gives life and good health. Closing sentence, laughing is good for heart. The last page is page 56. Revising. This page depends on the previous page. If you follow the steps in writing, you will put a check in the box. Thank you so much Junior 3.